Okay, now I'm going to do the load test for Florian 500 watt hour power bank. And I'm going to use this laptop. And this laptop has no battery installed in it, so it's just going to be running off of the AC power brick that came with the laptop. Now, this is the most inefficient way to do it because the battery here has to convert DC to AC, and then the laptop uh, charger brick converts it back to DC again. So uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the computer here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so it's going to be running this task right here. It's 87% done and it has about 10 more hours before this task completes. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep running that. Uh, the battery here is at 12.3 volts, so it's not a full, full charge. I think tw full, very full is like 12.5, but it's like a 90, probably a 95% charge or something like that. So yeah, we're just going to see how this, uh, see if it's able to run it for at least hopefully maybe 12 hours or something like that without a battery in it. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right now it's 10.30 p.m. So I'm just going to let this run overnight and uh, we'll check back with it in the morning. Okay, good morning. It's 10.30 a.m. So it's been 12 hours I've had this laptop running on just this battery bank. And you see it's down to 10.7 volts. If you believe this power meter right here, it shows like it shows like it's about half full, but I think it's actually under half because it usually cuts out around 10 volts or so. Um, one thing that you will notice with this unit is that there's a fan in the back which I guess cools the inverter that converts uh, the 12 volts to 110 volts AC. And it's been on the whole time and it's kind of loud. So I'm just thinking that this inverter is probably not very efficient because it's using a lot of power just to run that fan and to convert it to AC. So ideally you'd want to use uh, your USB-C plug with power delivery if you have a laptop that's capable of receiving that. But yeah, I mean, it's still doing good. Um, so if you if you connected solar to this thing, um, then all you have to do is then charge it every day with solar and then it would last the entire night. So um, yeah, depending on what you're trying to run. Like I said, I've been running this laptop for 12 hours and I still have power to spare. And I'll just keep running it and see uh, how long it will last. Okay, it's been a little over 13 hours now, and uh, we're at 10.6 volts, so under under half charge now. And I've decided to run uh, World Community Grid, which is going to tax the, the computer the most as far as power draw. So it's using all four CPUs now. Uh, this is a, uh, well, it's a dual core laptop, but it has hyper threading, so it's um, it has four threads. So you can see we're running four tasks. Right now I'm running it on World Community Grid, uh, the new Open Pandemics COVID-19 project which tries to find cures for um, COVID-19 as well as lots of other uh, diseases and issues throughout the world. Uh, so it's working on that. So um, we're loading up this uh, power bank just as much as we can and we'll see how much longer it lasts. Like I said, it's already been going for 13 hours. Mostly up to this point, I've just been playing videos from the internet and um, I was running one other task from this project before, but now we're running a full load on the computer. Okay, it's now 2.30 p.m. the next day. I started this test at 10.30 last night, so it's been 16 hours. I've had this laptop running most of the time just playing video or doing some fairly light tasks, but for the past three to four hours, I've had it running 100% CPU utilization on the uh, COVID-19 project at World Community Grid. And uh, it's at 10.2 volts, and if you look at the battery, it doesn't have a percent, but it does have a battery uh, symbol here, and it looks like it's probably down to about 10% or so. And I know from previous experience that about 10 volts is the low. So we're really getting towards the end here, but um, 16 hours running a laptop and not just idling a laptop, but actually, you know, using it for the la for uh, 16 hours and that's on AC power. So um, yeah, this is pretty nice. And so uh, if you're able to run things for 16 hours, and if you think about you get eight hours of sunlight a day, 
So if you have solar panels hooked to this thing, you're you know you're charging it. You could charge it for eight hours and use it for 16 hours. You know, it's very doable. Now, one thing you want to do if you are going to be using this is um, try to find appliances that run off of either USB or 12 volt because then it doesn't have to do the power loss conversion up to 110 volt AC. Uh, you know, you could find many different things that run off of 12 volt, like a, a cigarette car adapter. You know, you can get uh, coolers, heaters, uh, you know, cookers, fans, all kinds of things that run off of 12 volt and also USB. You could find plenty of USB lights, for instance, or USB fans. So those would be what you would ideally want to use with this. And then this thing will last forever. This thing will run those appliances for days if you can, if you can stick to the DC side of it. So, um, yeah, this is about the end of the test, but I will go ahead and run it down until it stops just to see how many hours I can get out of this and how, how low the voltage actually goes. And I'll report back once it shuts off. Okay, I just heard it make a really loud beeping sound, and then a few seconds after that, it shut down, and it's been about 17 hours, just about 16 hours and 45 minutes, actually. So this is kind of an unofficial test, but it just gives you an idea of how long you could run a laptop on this unit. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you later.